Hi and welcome to this video where I'll be looking at a new free plugin from Audio Modern, Panflow. So let's start by looking at what Panflow is, or perhaps what it isn't. It isn't a regular auto pan device as it offers so much more, with highly customizable parameters for fine control of audio signals, plus an ability to generate MIDI CCs for control over your VSTs. And of course, being from Audio Modern, it also offers a high degree of randomization. What frustrates me about traditional auto panners is the lack of control. If we look at the stock Steinberg auto pan, it looks quite comprehensive. But in sync mode, if I want to have a long, slow pan, I'm limited to one bar, which is simply too fast. Similarly, if I switch off sync, it's still too fast for what I'm looking for. Panflow, on the other hand, lets me select a 16 bar pan, which for subtle movement is exactly what I'm looking for. So let's have a quick look at some of the parameters before we explore how to use Panflow as a MIDI CC generator. Along the top row are the preset management and tempo sync options. The next row down has the speed setting, which as well as the long times that I'm looking for in a panner also goes down to a 16th for more drastic or creative panning moves. Similarly, the grid size, which determines the resolution that the points lock to, goes down to 1 64th. And you can choose whether or not points snap to the grid with the button just below. Next come the randomization options. The big central button will randomize the values on the graph below, offering three different levels of complexity and in three different styles. So the levels of complexity uh, range from light through to heavy with medium in the middle. And uh, the different styles are, there is a sort of a line style, a linear style where uh, the values change in a linear fashion. And there's also a bar graph style where you can uh, take the levels up and down similar to a gate-like effect, but obviously in this case you're, you're panning left and right. Now this can be automated with Audio Modern's Infinity Mode. Simply select the Infinity Mode and dial in after how many bars the randomization should occur. And Panflow will randomize its elements based on your parameters for every 1, 2 or all the way up to 64 bars. So this is infinity mode running. You'll see that every time it completes the cycle, it's selecting a different randomized value. If this value is too extreme, then there, are, there is a range selector on the right hand side here, and you can dial in the range values so that you don't get too extreme a randomized pan. Is quite useful. Equally, if you want bias towards the left or the right, if you switch on this command, that lets you move the whole range up into the left half uh, or the right half. So as a result, you can be quite flexible and yet keep the results subtle at the same time. The wet-dry slider here on the right dials back the extreme left and right panning positions, giving a more subtle effect. Now for panning, I tend to find it works around about the 50% to 80% mark. Uh, on headphones it's more noticeable that you keep it to sort of the 50s and the 60s. But you can of course use the range limiting measures as I've just illustrated. When we get around to sending MIDI CC values you may want uh, different percentages for more extreme or perhaps even more subtle results. The feather slider on the left smooths transition between the nodes on the graph. Staying in the center the reset button lets you start again by resetting. There are three preset shapes, and the lock command shown here will lock specific points. So let's have a look at this in action. If I, for example, lock this point as being the extreme left by selecting lock and then clicking on it, 
you'll see they become a solid white dot. And now any randomizations that we employ, they will stay in exactly the same position whilst the other values randomize around them. On the extreme left is a threshold control. Basically, you can adjust it so that at lower levels, no panning is applied, for example, during a fade in, and panning commences once the threshold is reached. To round things off, there's a handy quick preset row at the base of the plugin for quickly toggling between presets that you've created. I think you'll agree that this is a comprehensive panning plugin, but we haven't even looked at the MIDI side yet. Clicking on the five pinned in MIDI symbol, lets you assign a MIDI controller to the on-screen controls, so you could switch presets over MIDI, trigger a random pan setting, or perhaps adjust the wet-dry balance. But if you select the MIDI out text at the top of the screen, you can turn Panflow into a very versatile MIDI LFO style modulator with all the control that we looked at earlier. But instead of controlling pan position, the graph at the base becomes control information that you can assign to parameters in your VST. So let's have a look at that in action. So I've loaded a pad sound into Dune, and I know that my filter cutoff is set to a CC value of 49. So I'll now go into Pan Flow and uh, switch on by selecting the MIDI Out button, switch the command on, and set controller number 49. So once you've assigned the controller number to match your VST, we can switch the uh, MIDI Out button again and draw in our own shapes or have them generated at random. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw it in. I've set a, a two bar time period and I'm going to click on the graph and just basically bring in a gentle rise for that sort of period there and we'll have a look at it in action on Dune. So as you can see, random filter modulations are possible, or you could modulate the fine tuning of an oscillator. In fact, any parameter that can be modulated by a CC command can be addressed by Panflow in this way. So how you route this will vary from door to door, but in this particular example, I simply installed Panflow as an insert on Dune and made sure that the MIDI input to Dune was from Panflow itself. So in summary, this is a great free plugin with a comprehensive feature set that goes way beyond simple auto pan. It's easy to use and its MIDI features elevated to another level entirely. Please leave a like on the video, share and subscribe as this really does help me to keep making videos such as these. So until the next one, thanks for watching.